Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Elite Chronicles with your host, Buckrabbit. Today we're going to do a little bit of um, core mining. Now, here's one I found earlier. In order to do core mining, you need a number of different pieces of equipment. You need a seismic charge launcher. You can bring mining lasers, but you don't necessarily need them. You need collector limpets, prospector limpets, a refinery, an abrasion blaster, and of course a pulse wave analyzer. Now the pulse wave analyzer is the thing that will find the rocks for you. And all you do is send out like a sonar and it will return nice orange things. Now the colour you're actually looking for is yellow with a bit of black. So if we do another quick one, you'll see that the rock in front of us has a black return after an or orange return. There's another way of making sure that you've got a core. As you'll see fissures in the rock. And they kind of look like the LucasArts logo. Once you've found one, you need to prospect it to establish there is a core. Launch prospector, target it, and wait. And what you're after is that blue text in the bottom left that says core detected low temperature diamonds. And this has quite a high diamond content, so we're going to mine it first with lasers. So we're just going to mine that surface. Oh, pips the weapons. Four mining lasers is actually a little bit too much for this, but they're only 1D. And it should actually get exhausted quite quickly. This is the Asp Explorer that I bought with my normal surface mining. money. Alright, now we're going to blow up the rock. So what we're looking for are these fissures, asteroid fissures. Now we need to put a seismic charge of equivalent strength into these fissures. So this is an average. So we hold down about halfway, shoot it in. That will give you a medium. This next one is an average. Hold down about halfway, release. And what we're looking at is the top right. You'll see like a bar graph, and we're looking to get all of those into the blue. This is another average strength. Another medium charge. Let's see what this one is. This is a high strength, so we're going to have to hold it down for a bit longer. go we're almost in there almost and what we'll do is we'll put a nice low well, probably an average in this it says high but we're gonna, we need don't need to go that much further so there we go optimum yield range now we got a need to back up from the rock to a distance of about a kilometer Because we do not want to be close to this when it goes off. We put all our pips into systems. Get our shields nice and strong. And wait. Now you can either wait until they count down. Or you can go to contacts. Find a fissure with a charge. And detonate now. Such a good sound. Top notch. Top marks to the FDev for putting that sound together. Now you don't want to start 
shooting the chunks off the surfaces yet otherwise what will happen is the, the chunks that are free will despawn so just let your limpets do the work just for a little while you can check how many free contacts there are these are all free chunks so once they're all gone then you can start blowing these off the surfaces these are all surface deposits and that is what the abrasion blaster is for and just let the limpets do their job sometimes if uh, you're not careful your limpets will actually kill themselves so you'll be careful with that most of the time if you stay still they tend not to die so often so it's definitely worthwhile staying still just to begin with now they're starting to say there's no valid collection targets when well, in fact there are, there's four hopefully those other limpets are going to go and get them if we get a bit closer we should deploy another limpet they'll go off and get them pips back over to weapons and you'll hear that sound that's because it's very cold in here so you're getting a uh, nice bit of chill there. Okay, the abrasion blaster is basically a shotgun. Just target them, shoot the chunks off the surface. You can actually use this on surface deposits anyway. That you find when you're out mining, surface mining. But it does take up a weapon slot, so it's up to you whether or not you decide when you want to take it with you. Now the reason I found a rock earlier is because it can take some time to find a rock. It's kind of like fishing. You can be out here for hours and not catch anything. But it's quite relaxing. I find it relaxing anyway. Now I brought the ass for this job because it's small and get it can get in between the rocks quite happily. You can't do it with a big ship. Can you imagine an anaconda in here? It'd be bashed to bits. You need good thruster control. It's good practice actually, because it's the kind of movement that you have in combat. So we want to go inside here. Let's get this. And there are big rocks all around us right now. So thruster control is really important. Eventually you should get all of the rocks. You use this method for any core. So low temperature diamonds, void opals, uh, Alexandrite, I think you can get get cores. Uh, if they if we didn't have the triple low temp diamond site at Baran, then you'd probably use this because it's actually easier to find stuff and get money. So that's in a little crevice there. We need to uh, line up, shoot it, Let's see how many are left. Uh, no, that's it. It's the last one. We'll retarget the hotspot. Switch back to the pulse wave. Shut the cargo scoop. Yeah, I usually have night vision on as well. It's much easier to fly out if you've got night vision on. And then we just start pulse waving the, the rocks. Oh look, there's another one. 
That's, there's another likely candidate. Well, that never happens. If this is a if this is a core, that's very rare. It does look like a core. Getting a good yellow with a black return. Like I say, we just roll up towards it. And we look for the Lucas Arts logo. And there it is, folks. Okay. Let's put Prospector in it. Core detected. Not so much uh, of a percentage, so we're not going to bother pre mining it. But let's get down to business. Let's blow this sucker up. That's a low strength. So, just a quick one. Sometimes, you, if they've got a good rotation, you can just position yourself on the rotation and not have to roll around it. That's an average. You don't have to be exact, but you do have to get it close. Right, probably one more. One more charge. If we can get in there. Not watch out for this rock in front of us here. Sometimes they can be a little bit tricky. That's a high strength, so we're going to have to hold this down a bit. Oh, not quite. We stick a. Is that a low? I'm going to stick that in there. Oh, now, if you get this optimum yield range exceeded. And what you need to do is go to contacts, find one of the low strength and disarm it. And then wait to see what the yield is. Oh my god, we need to back up. Oh, optimum yield, there we go. Right, we need to back off real quick. Pips to systems. to get at least a kilometre away. Ten. Detonation in ten seconds. That was a good one. Fifteen blocks. Nice. Right, let's go in and get them. Limpets do their work. Go limpets, go limpets, go. Most of the chunks are above me. Yeah, you see. one of them killing themselves. Oh, cargo scoop. I want to remember the cargo scoop. Let's see how many we've got so far. Yeah, we've got 16 tons. It's not bad. See how many chunks are free. Oh, quite a few. Now, if you get that, what you need to do is dump some limpets. And just throw them out the bottom. Let's face it, low temperature diamonds are worth more than limpets. And why did I bring so many, you ask? Well, if you're out here for a while, and then you get a lot of false starts, then you can go through those limpets very, very quickly. 
Actually, we can stick those on the ignore list. And then it won't appear on the scope. How many chunks do we have? Still quite a few, actually. So I'm getting a bit closer. How many limpets have we got running right now? Did a number of them expire? Yes, it looks like it did. I did wonder why I was collecting quite slowly. Right, let's just stay still now. I mean, the limpet, the limpets used to be terrible. They literally just, just uh, go straight into an asteroid. Never used to f actually fly around them at all. But thank you, FDev. You fixed it. I think. They still will kill themselves, though. Okay, I'm looking at three more chunks, four more chunks, and then we'll look at the surface deposits. Like I said, not a good idea to start shooting these off straight away, because they will expire. That's another ton, excellent. Two more chunks, okay, we can start shooting these off now. You need to sort of warm up the abrasion blaster and then release. Right, that one's right in a crevice there. Let me start using the contacts panel to find these. Right down and to the right. Oh, there's one. So these chunks are actually rotating as well. So you just got to make sure you track them a little bit. like we're going to have to chuck out some more limpets. So we'll find any more. There's one left. And that's over here. It's on the other side of this rock. So we need to slip between these. Turn around. Avoid that. <laughs> And shoot that. And that'll be our last chunk. And then we'll go off and find some more. So I'll wait for that to go in. And now I have 32 tons. Nice. So we stick that into weapons now. Aim again for the low temperature diamond hotspot. So we're always going in the same direction. It's very easy to go around in circles doing this. And then we pulse wave again. But I think you've got the idea now. You've got an orange there. A 
I do actually think that's the wrong shape. It's too smooth. But we'll have a look. You will get a lot of false positives. Let me show you this. Now that's returning orange with a bit of black. But if we prospect it... You'll see there's no core. Now ideally what you're after is something that looks quite popcorn with yellow on a black shadow return. See, this is yellow, yellow or orange, but it's too smooth. And we've got this one down here. Now these, they're too dim. You don't want those. They're not yellow enough, you know? I mean, if you're really unsure, what you can do is a little flyby and see if you can spot the LucasArts logo. And no. So in summary, if you enjoy a bit of fishing, flying around amongst a load of rocks and getting rich, then core mining could be for you. Let's see what this one is. It's yellow, kind of popcorn shape. Take a good look at it, see if there's any fissures on it. Let's see if we can get a black return off it. Now that's kind of wrong return, but we'll throw a prospector in it. And that's what I meant by false positives. You think it's right, but it's not quite right. So there's no core in there. There's 8% low temp diamonds, but there's no core. There's quite a few over there. We'll have a quick look. I don't think any of those are the right shape. Yeah, getting two straight off the bat. That's very rare. Oh, this one looks promising. Getting a, a black shadow return. And we'll see. See if there's any fissures that we can see. Again, I don't think this has any fissures. Which is the reason for using the night vision. It's 19% low temps. Yeah. There are sub subsurface, but we'll cover that in another video. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to hang out here for a bit longer and see if I can find any more. But for the time being, I hope you learned something, and um, I hope to see you again. Bye for now.